YouTube comments. There have been quite a few and I have replied to some of them but I'm going to do it on camera as well because it often opens it up for other people. Um, I was talking about my liking of Jason Isaacs and that somebody had alerted me that he was on telly and I missed him and it was actually Gail. Gail says it was me regarding Jason Isaacs so thank you Gail for being my Isaacs lookout I do appreciate it and uh, Marguerite thank you you made me laugh by replying to my um what I've been reading um video where you put that were champion because I do love the word champion I know Alan Bennett um it's one of the words he loves to use and it is quite a northern type word and it just made me smile as soon as I read it Marguerite so thank you for that um Ali, oh Ali, you've written some fabulous comments uh, over the last couple of weeks. Um, you enjoyed the video which was me talking about YouTube comments, the last one I did. And when I was saying about my heart fluttering about Jason Isaacs. And you were saying that it was something that you were talking about at work the other day. Secret celebrity crushes. And that somebody had said Chris Kamara, who I believe used to be a footballer. Don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, Chris Kamara, not my cup of tea, but when I see him on telly, he does seem genuine. Kind of what you see is what you get. And I quite like that about him. Um, but I think he's also a little bit irritating. He's a bit too much. Um, but we all have these, well, you know, where people go and you think, really? Um, but you, Ali, I hope you don't mind me sharing this. You were mocked for saying that your secret celebrity crush was Hugh Edwards, who is a newsreader in the UK. And actually, he's not my cup of tea, but I get it. I kind of get where you're going with it. And you liked him when he was a little bit chunkier. He's been on a big health kick and everything, and he's done an incredible job. But I'm a bit like you. I like trying not to do with the hands, because it always looks a bit Su suggestive that's the word suggestive but I like a good you know some women like lithe you know people that look like Olympic runners you know a lithe sprinter like that and some of us like a good stocky rugby playing looking bloke and I prefer that I have to say your Russell Crowe's you know I like a bloke that looks as though he can lift a hefty Yorkshire lass over his shoulder and I do look at some men and think, not a chance, love, you'd be crying within five minutes. So I, I do get the Hugh Edwards angle, Ali, and I get the stocky. I like a man with a bit of, yeah, you know, and I need to stop doing that when I say a man with a bit of, because it's just going to get me into trouble. Um, and also, Ali was saying that sometimes she thinks it would be lovely to work from home, but equally, you know, because she can just relax and you don't have to put your shoes on and your underwear on and that kind of thing but you'd miss your colleagues and I agree with you and also what I really liked and you're quite right which is when you're in an environment often you're thrown together with people that any other time you would probably never come across or you would never even think you'd click and I found that in cosmetics that a lot of the friends and I still have them I would probably never ever have thought oh yeah I'd be friends with that person but yet the camaraderie when you work in that environment and I think what was so beautiful about a lot of my time on the shop floor was we were all very hard working but we also had each other's backs but I think the central thing the most important structure of our relationships was the humour and that we all sort of had a very, very similar sense of humour and it sort of glued us together. Um, and, and that's the thing, and I agree with you, Ali, that sometimes, you know, it does bring you together with people and it gives you that sort of, where you can stand and have a conversation about your secret celebrity crushes. But if anybody wants to share, the weirder, the better. I mean, I don't think I've got any weird ones, really. Um, you know about my Jason Isaacs, you know about my George Clooney. I'm a bit partial to Kenneth Branagh. Um, I used to like, now this is probably the weirdest one and I can't think, was he President Germany? Can't remember, Helmut Kohl. Just go with me on this one, those of you that remember. There was something 
proper manly because he was a big bloke but there's something quite commanding about him even though he was quite a bit older quite commanding and I quite like that a man with authority and my mother would say oh there's something wrong with you and he'd say oh he's a he's a proper bloke wouldn't say I fancied him but I kind of I was I don't know maybe in my teens early 20s there was just something quite hmm yes you know authoritative about him and Kurt Jurgens the actor Kurt Jurgens and he was in he played a baddie in one of the Bond movies and he was in the inner the sixth happiness but he had contact lenses and his hair dyed in that but he was actually a blonde and blue eyed actor oh and I was always quite partial to Kurt Jurgens and again he had a very broad chest um but yeah there were those maybe but there you go but I do I do get you Ali but your comment has been absolutely marvellous to read I read it so many times um on a different subject how do you feel about living in a holiday destination um because her and her husband and their Jack Russell do and she says we do too and in brackets miserable cow that I am close brackets don't believe it Ali I live in fear of people wanting to stay with us yes it is a danger that as soon as you say I live by the sea everybody suddenly thinks that you are a hotel come B&B &B and a cheap holiday because you don't get you know paid what people would pay to stay to be a being a holiday destination um living in a holiday destination yes we get the views and it's beautiful um but the reality living 24 7 in a holiday destination is when you go somewhere for a week or a fortnight it's glorious and it's beautiful and you see the best of it when you live there all the time the rose coloured spectacles slide slightly down to the end of your nose and you see the black and white of the reality of having people come on holiday and suddenly your town's not your own and you are sort of suffocated to be honest which is why I'm always grateful I've got my garden um, and that I can just step away from it so 80% of the time it's fabulous but there is that 20% of seven or eight months of the year where you are grinding your teeth because it, it is quite difficult um, I live in fear of people wanting to stay with us I love seeing friends but hate house guests um, I think I've just got to an age where I, I did it for so many years where I entertained and I would always be the one, you know, oh, come round for dinner or people would come and stay and, you know, towels folded on the bed and da 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 da, da. And I think I've just got to a point now where I just don't have anything else to give Ali, to be honest. And I adore seeing friends and family, but I would much rather that they just rented a B&B &B or stayed in a hotel. And even if we saw them every day, it would be great. But you can step away back into your own space. And that's the thing. I, and it's my problem I, I begrudge and I dislike sharing my own space now I don't want people in my space a long weekend fine but that's how I was brought up if I went anywhere with my parents and we went to stay with anybody it would be a long weekend and if we wanted to stay longer to see them we would always book further on into something my mother would never stay longer than two or three nights and then, you know, it was always pay for food and we'd take our own bedding and that kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of all I understand. And a lot of my Yorkshire friends are very much the same. You know, it's, oh, no, we'll book somewhere or whatever. But, yeah, I think it's just as I've got older and I've given so much of myself that now I'm quite selfish. Um, and I, I just don't have that energy to care um enough to have people you know i want people to feel comfortable and i just don't feel i can do that any longer um and i wouldn't want people to feel uncomfortable so i'd be that would add to my worry um so yes i kind of agree with you i like to see people but i'd rather they stayed somewhere else um and you've enjoyed the eye looks that i've been doing recently which some of them are quite dramatic so thank you for that ali what else have we got that I wanted to talk to you about? There are so many. The lovely Leona who's who comments and we're very much the same, I think, Leona and I. We sort of think the same. We like very similar things. 
um, which is always nice because I sort of read a lot of Leona's comments and I'm thinking, yeah, 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 totally with Leona on that. So thank you, Leona. Um, the Lovely Loving Life, Green Eyes Shadow on Brown Eyes is always lovely. Um, oh, now then, Loving Life, you were going to James Eriot Veterinary. Um, you were going to Heriot Country. Um, Yorkshire vet country so do let me know how it got on I did send you a few suggestions of where to stay but I've never stayed I have been but because we were so near to it you know just like a few hours we never actually stayed anywhere but I did find some places do let me know there is a new series of all creatures great and small coming and I'm a bit whew, about that. I don't know. I grew up obviously with Robert Hardy and Christopher Timothy and Peter Davidson and Helen Drinkwater, who played Helen, and then she was replaced by Linda Bellingham. Um, so I grew up with the original All Creatures Great and Small, and I believe it's Samuel West that's playing Siegfried Farnan, which would be interesting, because I like Samuel West as an actor. I just don't know if he's quite old enough to play Siegfried but then when I think about Robert Hardy he was probably a similar age but he just looked that bit older anyway do let me know what you thought of Eriot Country it's absolutely beautiful and it's a beautiful place and they're very very proud of James Eriot Alf White as he was really called veterinary um, but I'd love to know how you got on I really really would would so do let me know loving life um, I had another comment from the fabulous Ali, which, um, again, I, I read so many times and then there's so many things that I just pick out of it. Um, always interested in what you've been watching. We watched Apocalypse Now for the first time. I know it's supposed to be an absolute classic, but we just thought it was a weird old load of navel-gazing, self-indulgent tripe. God, and how long is it? I swear we were welded to the sofa watching that rubbish for about a week and a half. Yeah, not not one of my things. And I think it's iconic more for the fact that there were so many problems filming. And I think that was the film that Martin Sheen, Charlie um, Sheen and Emilio Estevez's father, I think that was the one he had a heart attack on and they had to replace him. I think so. Anyway, but yes, I get you. And I'm a bit the same about The Godfather, dare I say it. I know it's an incredible cast. I know it was sort of exploring things that people probably would never have explored. And, you know, people, you know, the mafia things always of interest. But I just, it, I just find it completely boring. Um, and I know Marlon Brando's in it, but I think Marlon Brando did far better work in a lot of other movies. Um, I think the cotton wool deserved an Oscar, let's be honest, whatever he had in his jaw, um, but it just, no, uh, the godfather for me, to be honest, Ali, I just sit there thinking, no, and the other one, and this is quite controversial, and even Craig folds his arms and just looks at me, I, I just, it, I went to see it at the cinema, I've watched it at home, Forrest Gump, and I love Tom Hanks, I think Tom Hanks is wonderful, but Forrest Gump, absolutely nothing for me not a thing i don't care that life is like a box of chocolates i just couldn't connect with it at all couldn't connect with it at all and the other one with tom hanks was the can't even remember what it's called that awful one where he has the football it's on a desert island it wasn't called desert island and i know you're all shouting at the screen but i remember watching that thinking just no please make it stop so yeah tell me the films or the books that are supposed to be so fabulous and you've read them or you've watched it and thought don't get it just does nothing for me um but those i'll think of lots more i'll think of lots lots more and it's often the oscar winners and you think really that won an oscar but those are those are mine those are mine so yes ali apocalypse now you know there you go um what else i'm so glad that barry and frida are thriving which they are they have fledged the nest 
but I have mentioned in another video that although they fledged and they go off they're a bit like teenagers they come home to get their washing done and there they are and then they go again and then they come back not sure how long that will go on often the parents will encourage them to just go eventually by ignoring them but I don't know whether this is just going to be another type of behavior you know they're always surprising us with what they do whether they are just going to keep coming back because it's a safe place and Barry and Frida know that you know they're quite welcome on our roof we'll see um lady coco green eyeshadow looks lovely on brown eyes totally agree with you my darling um leona we were talking about awful habits and things spitting is the worst she doesn't like spitting oh no 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 me either um gail happy i've done my book review and she'll try not to nag anymore the lovely kate sang um I was saying about do you have a particular cup or mug to drink your tea and coffee and she has a favourite mug in brackets bucket for her tea and it definitely affects the taste where you know if you really love something it always tastes better um, and she watched Snowpiercer on Netflix and thought it was great although it does feel a bit like The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones well I've never watched either so I can't compare Kate uh, but thank you for that the lovely Helen, she had, I did a blue eyeshadow with the Fenty palette and she had the Fenty palette so she may brave the bolder colours, I hope you do. Um, what else have I got? The lovely Dominique, I did the August skincare video and Dominique said gorgeous and glowy, thank you darling. What else, what else, what else, what else? I have replied to some of you, as I say. A lovely Susan, Susan Myers. I did my IT, the beauty book makeup. Hello from America. Hello, Susan, from over the pond in the UK. This video was so relaxing and I love it cosmetics. You look beautiful. Thank you for that. Um, Gail has commented, love this makeup, especially the eyes. I've just finished Ordeal by Innocence, which is an Agatha Christie. And having seen the TV adaptation recently, was wondering why they changed the ending. Why did they do that with Christy? I mean, she, you know, this is why. It really infuriates me. Like, you know, she hasn't made it easy for you. It's almost like they think they've been clever. And if you are a true Christy fan, you know, you want the suspense, but stop playing with it. It works perfectly. It's a perfect wheel. It runs beautifully. Stop playing with it. I would be livid, Gail, and I am, because they've done it with a few things, haven't they? And I've mentioned in another video, Death on the Nile with Kenneth Branagh. I've seen a little trailer and I'm just not... I've not seen Murder on the Orient Express. I love Kenneth Branagh. I just... I just don't know. I just... You know, why couldn't you make something that's not already been filmed? But anyway, so thank you for your comments. Um, thank you, Ali, for yours, because you've written what seems like a like a whole book and it felt like I was having a proper chat with you, you know, in a coffee shop and we're going, oh, yeah, and this and that. And so much of it made me laugh because you sound very much like myself. So thank you for that, Ali. Um, it really was a joy to read your comments and hear what you talk about on the shop floor and everything. So lots of options there for you folks. Let me know your secret crushes. Don't be too shocked about the helmet curl one. It's kind of regretting whether I should have said it and should I edit it out, but I won't. Um, also, what else? Secret crushes, bad habits. Um, a lot of you do comment about rude behaviour, bad manners. People don't seem to have any manners anymore. That's my absolute pet hate. And I have to say, it's not just young people. When people say, oh, it's the young people. I find the older people are the ones that are quite rude to be honest, and seem to think that they have some sort of right to behave a certain way. Um, but I agree with you on the bad manners, agree with you, Leona, the spitting aspect. So things like that that you don't like. And also, I think, because Gail's mentioned it, where they play around with books and stories and they put the books into films. And I know they have to edit things down and take bits out, but when they completely change the endings, how do you feel about that? because that would annoy me. Um, just why? And why do they do it with Christy? Because they do faff with Christy a lot. And it's almost like they're trying to play her at her own game and say, oh, we've done a better job. 
this is Agatha Christie we're talking about here. It's all there for you. Just do it and we'll all be happy. Anyway, thank you for your comments. I hope you're all well. Um, we just continue in this world as it is with a lot of chaotic things going on. Um, yeah, I've really got nothing more to say other than obviously take care, stay safe, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. And I will be back very soon, as will the madam herself. Um, we'll see you soon. Bye for now. I look forward to lots more comments from you all as well.